Hello again. This is a quadratic expressions and algebraic fractions video looking at factorizing algebraic expressions and we're looking at a common bracket variation here. Just a special uh, special case I guess. So if we're asked to factorize x outside of x plus 5 plus 2 outside of x plus 5 interesting idea. Do you notice that these two brackets are the same as each other? We can uh, use a special method when that occurs. Let's have a look at it. So you'll notice that that bracket and that bracket are common so to those two chunks. One's got an x out the front of it, one's got a plus 2 out the front of it, but they're the same in the same items in the brackets there. So we're allowed to do something very special. The front terms, the x and the 2, can join together in their own bracket for the factorized version. So the x can go into the front of a bracket and the plus 2 can join it and then we just list the second bracket uh, kind of once because if x is multiplying by this bracket and 2 is multiplying by this bracket we can join them up as a factorized version. Um, so we'll need this later in a section called factorizing in pairs but um, yeah, so if you're given a, a, an arrangement whereby you've got common items in the bracket, those front bits can join up in their own bracket, and we just list the second bracket once. Let's have a look at another example. Okay, can you see that the bracket items are the same as each other? You've got an A in front of the bracket and a minus 4 in front of the bracket. So those uh, brackets have the same things in them. We call them common. And so those front numbers, the front terms, sorry, the letters or numbers, a and minus 4 can join up into their own bracket, and we just list the 2c plus 3 bracket once, and get that as our final result. Nice little shortcut, really. The front numbers can join into their own bracket. And uh, that's the variation when you have common brackets and you're trying to factorize. Hope that helps. PeterBlakeMass.com. Watch out for those ones.